Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Rebelling Escalation in our Curious Bulldozer Brutal Campaign. We have two maps left, both of which have some perks that I think work fairly well for me. Of the two, the Southern Desert is going to be the most difficult, so let's do this next. Diplomacy initiatives are already funded, is pretty huge for us. Inflation rises faster is not great, but it's manageable. Destruction of a critical structure is really bad, but if we can keep it alive, we're alright. Scouts getting extra intel is pretty nice. Sorry, from our soldiers we have scouts. Extra intel is nice. So this is not an amazing map, but it's not bad. Like, the negative impacts aren't horrible, and we can make it work. I think I'm going to end up going for the Economist this time around, for the extra budget and such. Although, let's remember that they, um, the insurgents do extra damage when we have con uh, coalition soldiers, so that's potentially issue. Uh, we can't use lots of coalition troops. But that's where the Warlord could come in and become really good, too. I don't know. We we could we could go for the Warlord instead. Do you think the Warlord's a better choice? I think it might be. Let's actually go for the Warlord instead. Now, as far as advisors, um, extra intel could be helpful, but we already get some extra, so I'll save that for later. Let's go for bonus support in rural zones. Let's go for... Decreasing of insurgent capability when we stabilize zones. Let's go for the tourists for extra intel at the beginning of the game. Um, I think we're going to get the delay reputation loss due to lack of stability because that's one area the Warlord tends to struggle with. Yeah, let's do that. Arms dealer for stronger national soldiers isn't half bad. Um, getting the instructors so we can start getting national soldiers right away isn't bad either. But we tend to get that as a warlord anyway. Um, improved morale of coalition soldiers allows for longer deployments. You know, given the fact that we can't... No, I'm probably not going to use coalition soldiers almost at all. I'm going to go for the arms dealer just to make them stronger. Sensor. Reduce reputation loss. I think I'm going to need this only because the warlord does struggle quite a bit. Alright. So, lots of stuff already taken here. We have a structure that I need to defend, and honestly, I would like to place my HQ here, but I can't, so we're going to place it right along here. I wanted to place it there. Um, all right. In a place to defend this structure would have made a lot of sense, too, but oh well. So we have a lot of civilian in uh, initiatives already funded, which is great. We're going to need water. We have local militia. We already have universal justice, foreign relations, and democratic transition. Let's go for the effective procurement. Let's go for some education, and then let's go for the scouting. All that's important. I will need to get the water initiatives. We know that that's going to be a thing. So let's go ahead and preemptively do that. You're losing the reputation battle. Duly noted. Uh, let's get that region regional census. Wow, that inflation really does take up fast. That cost me a fair chunk, actually. All right, here comes intelligence. We can't get any military units yet. We're going to need um, to get the PR office. I may not even get Outreach Office anytime soon because we already have the uh, Universal Justice. So getting PR is pretty big for me right now. I need the inflation to tick down a little bit more. It's a huge amount of support. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. We found a tank. Tanks aren't bad on this map. There's a lot of open space. They just tend to uh, upset people. Still, that PR battle is huge. The next level would get me another chunk. And since we struggle a lot with that as the Warlord, I think I'm tempted to go for it. What do people need? A little health care. Let's go ahead and do some of that. We can't afford to neglect it. Um, I'm going to plan elections. That cost me way more money than I wanted. Fairly expensive, actually. Fairly expensive. Okay. Um, let's get the strategic communications going. Okay, the military initiatives is kind of was afraid was going to happen next. So we need to get coalition soldiers. The problem is they cost a little bit extra. Actually, it's not that bad. Let's do it. So now we want uh, national soldiers, and they're super cheap to start us off. Let's grab this tank. They train quickly with the Warlord, which is great. There's a camp over here somewhere. Um, we need to get this urban area under control, so we don't get too much insurgent activity. That actually needs to be a high priority for us right now, is just getting rid of loads of insurgent activity. I also do want to get for, uh, bunkers, because they will eventually lead to a lot of extra money. Do I use the tank or no? I think the answer is yes. I'm going to use a tank, and I'm going to apply it to this unit. Let's get that garrison going. You're going to go up here. You're going to go where? Let's use the tank to go here. You're going to go here. 
I want to find that camp. I'll bet you there is one over here. Uh, actually, they're going to an urban area, which I do not like. I need some more soldiers. Lots of corruption here. We have to start reducing that a lot. Okay, we're going to get rid of this. Let's go there. Let's go here. This is taking a long time to move. But we should be able to reduce insurgent activity a pretty hefty amount. I'm okay with you guys up over here. That doesn't matter. But I can't let you guys sit in this urban area. That's not allowed. Alright, so they're going to retreat. Let's go over here and chase them down. Kick them back into the mountains. You get rid of this zone. You go over... Where? Let's go here and prevent them from going anywhere. I need to reduce corruption a lot. Because as the Warlord, it's a huge issue. Taking this zone is a big dish, uh, problem. Okay, so we're going to get these guys out of here. Come on, take the zone. There we go. Transport up here. Lose some police. It's fine. The police actually killed them, so that's great. 32% chance. Oh my god, okay. Camp. Let's get rid of it. This zone we can get rid of. Okay, so that reduces insurgent activity a little bit. Let's actually move you here for reinforcement and the tank down here to counter them. Um, I think more corruption reduction is necessary just because this is going to continue becoming an issue. You can win this fight and kick them in the mountains. This is fine. Fighting over here is a problem. I actually can't afford to go there. We need to get airstrikes and stuff. I also can't afford to get too many more national soldiers or they're going to just take up all my money. Let's... Let's try to fight these guys off using the tank. Getting some reinforcements and kicking them into some more mountains. Airstrikes will be good. A garrison right here will be good. We're going to have some pay bonuses pretty soon, so let's start saving a little cash. We're going to relax the rules, allowing for more airstrikes. These guys are going to get kicked out of here. These guys are doing fine. Okay, we have way too many connected zones, but we're reducing that a little bit. If we can win this fight over here, this will be huge. Now let's try going after them in this area. Here's the pay bonus I was talking about. I want to win this fight and then go over here. Significant concern over a lack of water. But I already have that, so let's get some more. Now you guys need to go here. Found the camp. We're going to try to destroy that quickly. We're kicking them out of this urban area so they have less connected zones, which is also quite good for me. There's a lot over here. A lot of them over here. Okay, but we were at least able to destroy that uh, camp. So let's let them sit there for a little bit. That's not a big deal. What do people want? Electricity and more water. Well, so far things are looking okay there, honestly. Um, corruption's under control. Now is where I get some foreign translators and also some civil assistance to roll out those extra initiatives. Cover up. Sure, 3% is not a big deal. So far we're doing okay. Here comes more pay bonuses. We know that's going to be a thing. We have two garrisons so far. Um, I can go for the blockades. It reduces support, but it leads to a little bit of extra cash, and I kind of need cash. Let's get you over here. Okay, a little bit more stability. We're having some issues with roads. We need regular roads. Let's do that. We're not moving fast enough along this corridor, I think. All right, you guys want to fight? Nah, 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 keep to your zone. You're not allowed to leave. Subtle pressure. That actually works pretty well. We've had the Foreign Relation Office for so long that it actually is great right out of the gate. Okay, so we're kicking these guys out. No problem. No problem at all. Coalition Soldiers over soon, honestly, doesn't bother me too much. Um, I don't like using, losing the tank, but I don't care too much. Let's reduce corruption and also get some more police. Just better security in general is helpful. To move you here, you're going to want another pay bonus. Still not doing great on the roads. I'm honestly surprised how bad it is. Let's actually go ahead and grab that outreach and just roll them out faster. So, do we keep them or not? I have enough reputation, I can afford to keep them once. I'm not going to do more than that, because it costs a lot to extend, but there you go. A garrison right here is fine. Pay bonus here sucks, but alright. The extra garrisons mean I'm generating more money. I'm going to go ahead and attack you and just use these garrisons to punch you and push you somewhere else. Because I feel like we might as well. Uh, what else do we want to do? We can get... This is terrible. Decrease support level from civilian shakedowns, gain some money. Gain reputation, but support it. We lose lots of support, basically. There's a lot of ways to lose support. As the Warlord. But it does give you some pretty huge perks. Let's go for telecommunications. 
That will definitely secure me for the rest of the game. Tank obliterates these fools. If we can actually kick them over here into the mountains, I'm happy with that. I like them all to be in one place. Found a camp. Oh, good. New police chief boosting security. Meh. Let's chase them down into the desert. Uh, let's see. More security. No, let's reduce the corruption a little bit. Right now, we are losing mostly due to corruption. Nothing else. 19% chance? Ah, oh, come on. Statistically, I feel like I, it's a 50-50. It shouldn't be, because that's not how it's supposed to work. It's 19% chance, not 50, but it feels like 50. All right, so these guys are going to die. So stay in your corner. I don't mind that. Let's move you over here. They're going back into the urban area. Threaten for a little reputation. Yes, please. Subtle pressure to cut your support. Doing fine. More zones are stabilizing. What else do people need? Electricity? All right, let's go ahead and roll out a level of that. It's always worth addressing the concerns when you can, even though I don't think electricity is that great. We should still be rolling out lots of initiatives in this urban area, which is very helpful. More security? Um, yeah, just in case. I mean, we might as well stack up a lot of bonuses of that. We already have the militias and whatnot. Whoops. We want to contest this real quick. We're going to fight in these urban areas, but that doesn't matter. What's going on here? Cover up. Okay, 31% chance is risky, but we're fine. More pay bonuses. So far, we're getting by with only three soldiers, which is good, because we're not losing as much money that way. Nope, you're not allowed to leave. Stay in your corner. Let's get them faster, and let's roll out initiatives even faster with the civil integration. These tanks are proving to be a bit of a liability, but it's all right. You guys are okay, right? Apparently not. Uh, let's get stronger garrisons. Airstrikes will make that easy. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Don't make me lose that. Get out, get out, get out. There's another camp over here. I'm about positive. Let's get some drones. Okay, didn't discover anything over there. Um, we could potentially go for the kill over here if I were willing to. And I am. Let's start moving some people over here, and then let's get over here and try to go for the kill and clear out that corner, just so I can finally have that done with. Let's make our soldiers a little stronger. A garrison here actually solves that problem entirely, so I don't need tanks here anymore. But we'll keep them there just for the fun of it. They can't reinforce anything, but whatever. Alright, so these guys are definitely going to die. Now you move here. Another threat, 5% chance. I can take that. Up to 75 reputation is pretty decent. Okay, found an empty cave. As long as it stays empty, I do not care. Alright, we found a camp. We're going to send you guys home because you're worthless now. Uh, let's go for security checkpoints so that they can't take over my zones. Let's go for heavier ordnance. Let's go for more telecommunications. Found a camp. Hopefully we bomb it. The pay bonus needed there. Okay, so we're clearing this all out. I need to get rid of the cave. Okay, so this will be fine. I'm still rolling out initiatives over here. You can almost clear these guys out. You can have two zones, though. That's not a big deal. Another pay bonus needed here. We got a support. Uh, let's go up this way. Gonna have another pay bonus right here. I can train up number four. I know that, but... Doesn't feel like a high priority. Um, what we're going to do now is move you over here, and I'm going to pick up the civil support because this garrison should actually help me get this zone under control a lot faster. Honestly, these guys are pretty well contained and no problem at all. Oh, right. Sorry, what's going on here? Mm, I'm going to try to talk. I'm not taking a 12% chance. 12% shouldn't be that bad, but I've been wrong before. Stronger units. Get over here. Okay. So, we could clear these guys out entirely if you want to. Let's do full elections. Okay. We can clear out somebody. Which groups do I want to get rid of? These guys. I want to get rid of these guys. Let's do it. Say you're sorry. Get reputation. Uh, subsidize TV to increase support level so I can get some extra propaganda efforts. Absolutely. Dirt roads, more medicine, all that's fine. What do people want? Nothing in particular. That's good. Okay, so these guys we should be able to kick out. Especially if we have the drones. I'm going to go ahead and get some combat boosts in those drones. That helps. There's another camp over here. I'm about positive. But we'll worry about them later. You get over here. Subtle pressure. 
Okay, yeah, there's more over here. I'm, I'm positive there's a camp in this area. I'm gonna protect my urban area, though. That's kind of important. Then you guys get over here, and between the garrisons, all of you guys in position, we should be able to slaughter this group. Found another camp. Uh, unfortunate timing. But let's just deal with you real quick. Let's go for more frequent airstrikes and some more coalition soldiers, because I feel like we might as well. Clear this out. Hand in your weapons. I still want to roll out initiatives in most of these areas. Um, my question is, where can we chase you? Hopefully into a corner over here. Another pay bonus. Sure, these guys are spreading out pretty rapidly, but we already have garrisons in position, so it doesn't matter too much. That camp is gone. Let's start chasing these guys back. I don't want them spreading out further. There's a little bit much going on over there, to be honest. Uh, let's get another coalition soldier, even though they cost a lot of money. I have money at this point. It doesn't matter. Let us contest over here. Okay, so we guarantee to chase these guys into a corner, right? Another pay bonus. Another pay bonus. These guys are going to run into a corner. Get some reputation. Chase you down. You go here and defend our uh, garrison. Let's get some highways going. Let's get some polio vaccines or something. Okay, these zones are all stable, which is great. A garrison right here is kind of irrelevant, but I'll take it anyway. Let's start moving you guys and form a front, front line. Alright, so this is all cleared out. You go here. Start rolling out some extra initiatives. We do want to get the remote outreach to speed that along a little bit. Should easily be able to finish these guys off. Yeah, they're very well contained at this point. Now we just tighten the noose. Tighten the noose good and hard. Nearby region stabilized. Thank you for the money and the reputation. Pay bonuses. Subtle pressure. Go ahead. Um, let's go for the remote subsidies and more polio. Reject the deal. Get 10 more reputation. They're not dead yet, so why not? And let's also get some more dirt roads, because they're relevant in the desert. Okay, why haven't you guys bombed this stuff yet? I don't know, but I haven't. You guys should bomb these camps. There you go, thank you. You know there's a new perk? I think it's new anyway, where you can get reputation for killing camps. Which is really, really strong in this game. Definitely buys you a load of extra reputation. There's also, uh, like, free, uh, or, uh, sorry, um, caves under urban areas with catacombs. Which is really scary, and I don't like it. Alright, these guys are getting cooked in, kicked into a corner. Come on, win these fights. You can do it. I know you can. I have faith in you. A little engine that could. More frequent airstrikes! When in doubt, bomb them harder! Yeah, you're running over here. I see that. I don't care. Now we can move over here. We can finish them off. Let's go for full elections. 10% chance. Worked out fine. Okay. You stick around for a little bit longer. Just for a little bit. I don't need I don't need long. Just win this fight. There we go. Okay, and now we can send you home. And we're going to send you over here and you over here. Just in case they respawn, because they probably will. Pay bonus! And we should be able to go for a peace deal right... Nope, never mind. They spawned over here. I told you that was going to happen. They always spawn the second you leave the zone. Every time. Increase pay. Send you home. You don't matter. Pay bonus. Hold on. We're not going to do a peace deal until these guys die. Oh my gosh, there's a camp now. Kill them quick. We can't destroy that in time. We have to reject the deal again. You guys are super duper annoying. You know that, right? Missing that by like half a second. Donate to charity. Get extra support level. It's good. People like charity. Gives me a really good, uh, really good PR image. All right. So the warlord actually was definitely the right choice for this map. We made this one work really well. Being able to train up your national soldiers quickly gave us some options instead of focusing hard on the coalition soldiers. Um, but it was fine. Let's go for full reform for women's rights, and we should now be able to go for a peace deal, and that's going to end this map. All right. There's only one left in this campaign. And I think that one should be okay. Five stars, 17,000 points, not too bad. What's my next and final perk? Start with intel on more zones. It's pretty good. Reveal insurgent camps immediately in zones with full intel is okay. Starting with a coalition soldier isn't outstanding. However, it's better in the late game zones because uh, since the insurgents control so many parts of the map, you can use an early soldier to start clearing out whichever ones you want and uh, guarantee the insurgents are going to spawn in a specific corner. So I'm going to go for the Advanced Coalition Soldier. 
I think that works out okay. And our final map is going to be the Secluded Savannah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.